Hello, good evening. This is uh, STV English News at 7. First, the top stories. Vast areas have been inundated due to bridge of riverbanks. Government declares holiday for the day in wake of uh, severe floods looming large. Manipur government opens 19 relief camps in Imphal West District and two in Imphal East District for flood affected people. Railroad caves in at two different places on Imphal Zuribam Road. More than 400 loaded trucks stranded. And given an opportunity, women of Manipur can excel in any field, says Governor Dr. Najma Hattullah. And now news and details. Vast areas of Manipur Valley have been inundated due to bridge of embankments of most of the rivers in the state as rain continues to lash. Severe flood is looming large and as rain is expected to last for the next couple of days. In the meantime, government of Manipur declared holiday for the day for the government offices public sector undertakings, corporations and autonomous body for the day in the view of the flood. However, essential services like police department, fire service, water resource department, health and family welfare department, hospitals, revenue department, PWD, PHED, municipalities and office of deputy commissioners and STOs remained open as normal. In the meantime, state government has set up 19 relief camps in Imphal West, 6 in Uripur, 2 in Sagolban, 6 in Lamsang, 2 in Sekmai, 2 in Thangwiban and 1 in Patsoi. Two more relief camps were also opened at Kiamga in Imphal East. Personnel of Manipur Police sung into action and conducted rescue operations of the flood-affected people. Meanwhile, broadcasting of programs from all in area in Fall has been temporarily halted since morning as AIR in Fall complex located at Palace compound was flooded. Transmission will resume as soon as the situation improves. ISTV News also came across surrounding areas of Palace compound in Fall East flooding with knee deep water. Imphal River Bank has been bridged at Chekon near Kingsway English Academy and flooded the surrounding areas of Imphal East such as Palace Compound, Nongmaibung, Wangkai, Ayangpali Road, etc. In the meantime, Chief Minister N. Biran inspected the condition of the bridge portion of the Imphal River at New Jekon and its surrounding areas. Manipur police personnel and residents of the area tried to repair the bridge part of the embankment. Similar situation is also reported at Kongba Uchekon as well, where residents are reeling under immense hardship. Imphal River Bank has also bridged at two different areas at Kiamgai Muslim Awanglekai Lokol and Kiamgai Oinam Lokol. Paddy fields located at nearby areas have been submerged under flood water. On the other hand, Nambul River is also flowing above danger level due to Surging water, the river overflowed at Uripok and inundated areas. Flash floods also occurred at Nagamapal areas due to overflowing river. Areas such as Uripok Chairap Court, BT Flyover Foot remain flooded, causing great deal of difficulties to people living in the area as well as commuters. Nambul River also overflowed at Sagolban and flooded roads and neighborhoods such as Mwerang Lerak, Maino Lerak, extra. Commuters are facing inconveniences flying on Sagolban Road. Meanwhile, flash floods also occurred at Thangal Bazar, Pauna Bazar, and BT Road as rainwater is unable to flush out of these areas. Meanwhile, State Disaster Management Department has instructed the Deputy Commissioners to stay on alert as heavy rainfall is expected to continue till June 15 as per the Indian Meteorological Department. 
Now, different places in Nambul constituencies such as Maibam, Kongkham, Nambul Makha, Sabal Lekai, Nambul Awang, Kori Lekai, and Lai Tonjam have sub been submerged under flood water. River also overflowed at Nambul Chingmang and adjoining area of Nambul Lekai and Maibam. Tidin Road passing through Nambul constituency remained submerged under water, causing inconvenience to commuters. The uh, flood situation remained grim in Thawal district as well as uh, Thawal River posed threat to residents, especially to those living near the river. Locals are trying to fend the overflowing river water using their own materials. 100 meter long river bank sank at Kaibung, flooding the surrounding areas. Houses are also inundated at Thawal Sabal Tomba area as river bank breached at Thawal Sabal Tomba Konjil Lekai. River also overflowed at Thawal Laisangtem near Laisangtem Bridge, due to which Laisangtem Market has been flooded. Similar situation also occurred at Thawal Hauka, Kiam Sipai, and Thawal Moijing. Now, National Highway 37 in Faljiri Road caved in between Laijang and Sinan Village as heavy downpour continued to lash in state since last couple of days. Vehicular traffic has been completely stopped as road remained disconnected. The embankments of Imphal River were bridged at Irong, Maibam, Uchiwa, Nastov Village. Today, five JK rifle of nine sector SAM rifle under the aegis of headquarters IGAR South immediately rushed to the affected areas and extended all possible help to the residents. Subsequently, flood relief column of five JK rifle was also re requisitioned by the DC of Thawal District, Haubam Roshita. Flood relief columns have already been deployed to identify critical areas of these villages. MLS Fazur Rahim and K. Robin Troy evacuated affected residents with the help of the column. Emergency ration and drinking water was also provided to the affected villages. Time now for a short commercial break. Keep watching Eyes TV English News. Goods and Services Tax GST da register to wiraba taxpayer khuding makna matam chana GSTR 3B monthly return file to wiyo me thagi GSTR 3B return file to wagi aroi banumitti lak liba jun gitang kundani sel jang dana return file to na bagi damakta ol guwahati high court building north aoc department gi facilitation center da lak piduna return file to wiyo kangan jari ba department of taxes government of mari Welcome back. You're watching ISTV English News at 7. Now, Governor Najma Haptullah has said that women in Manipur are very strong and courageous. Given an opportunity, their strong determination enables them to reach their goals. She was attending the Girls in Aviation Day Observance at Hotel Classic Grand today. The day was jointly observed by Women in Aviation International India Chapter and Lokit Martin, Chief Executive of Lokit Martin India, Philso APDA of Imphal Airport. K. Panigrahi also attended the observance. Governor Dr. Nazma Haptullah further said women have started training aviation since many years. Even as there were restrictions on women, they have helped their male counterparts in aviation during the Second World War. Later, after 1970, the restrictions were lifted and women began to progress in the field as much as their male counterparts can. Observing the girls in aviation, they will be a good moral booster for the young and promising girls in the state. When I was the president of the Inter-Parliament Union, I made a point to search out all search words from the dictionary and said that these words for the profession should not be gender identified. A profession is a profession. There is nothing to do with gender. Now I am a governor. I can be, I cannot be called a governess. So a pilot cannot be called a pilotess. You know these terminologies were identified. I am happy that I played a role changing the gender identifying nomenclature and whether it is a woman or a man should be identified for his profession. Sagolban Constituency Progressive Committee today felicitated students who excelled in HSLC and HSSLC exams and sportsperson from the constituency at a function held at Nepal Menjo Community Hall. 
Sagolbal MLA RK Imo, former Chairman of Council of Higher Secondary Education, Manipur Arambam Santosh, Professor Lauren Bam Kamake and former Director of Education Jew, Dr. K. Nabachandra Grace, the Felicitation Program. A citation, memento and a cash were presented to students and sportsperson as an encouragement for their achievements. A word constituted by Asim Manglem of uh, Wahing Bamlekai in the name of his late parents, Asim Chauba and Ibemhal, were also presented to the highest mark scores from Sagolban constituency. Speaking on occasion, Emily R.K. most stressed on hard work and discipline in order to succeed in life. He also said parents must identify the desire of their children and accordingly support in their dreams. Emily R.K. Mo also said that relief camps will be open to shelter victims of flood in the constituency. Koro Yunkai Private Limited today organized a one-day workshop for directors of startup companies at Sangai Hall Hotel in Fal. Pedajit Singh Okram and Vaivab Garg spoke as resource persons on corporate compliances and role and responsibilities of directors during the first session. Chartered accountant Manoj Dixit and Pedajit Singh Okram spoke on the importance of tax compliances emerging economy during the second session. Chairman come managing director of Koro Yumkai Private Limited, M. Koro Hanba, said the workshop was organized with an aim to impart knowledge on getting benefits of various schemes initiated both by state and the central governments. He also opined that entrepreneurs must try and grab the opportunities given to startup companies by the government. A National Association of Fishermen, Manipur State Unit, fall under the aegis of Ministry of Development of Northeast Region. Northeastern Council Secretary Shillong organized a one-day seminar on sustainable development, water pollution, environmental change, the ecosystem under the theme Integrated Approach of Loktak Lake, Manipur at Khodrag Mayai Lekai in Thanga constituency. ADM of Bishnupur, N. Gojendro Singh, Jila Parishad member of the Nungai Jila Parishad, O. Ibo Chobi, and environmentalist R. K. Ranjan, among others, attended this seminar. Speaking on occasion, R.K. Ranjan said commissioning of NHPC has caused the degrading condition of Loktak Lake and therefore there is no use of having NHPC anymore. Now, in national news, Delhi Chief Minister and Arm Admi Party Chief Arvind Kejriwal's protest has entered the third day today. The AAP government is protesting in the office room of Lieutenant Governor Anil Bajlal residence as the tension between the IAS officials and the Delhi ministers is affecting the working of the assembly. The same tension had been triggered after the alleged assault on Chief Secretary Anshu Prakas by AAP MLAs in February. The protest marched to Lieutenant Governor's house to demand fulfillment of Delhi government's demands has now been joined by former Union Minister Yaswan Sinha. After the latest assault, the IAS officers stopped attending routine meeting with the Delhi ministers and the chief minister and said that ministers have failed to give any assurance till date regarding safety, security, dignity and respect to the officers, including women officers. On Monday, the ministers, including Kejriwal, went to Lieutenant Governor to discuss the three demands by the Delhi government. Now in international news, Pakistan ousted Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's brother and PMNL Chief Sabah Sharif has asked India to resume peace talk with Islamabad, saying Singapore summit between the US and North Korea should get a good precedence for both the bickering neighbors to follow. Marking in Nepal, in the history of the decade-long tension between US and North Korea, leaders of the two countries yesterday met in Singapore for a summit where North Kim Jong-un pledged to work towards the complete denuclearization in return for security guarantees from Washington. Shabazz Sharif in a tweet said, if the United States and North Korea can return from the brink of a nuclear flashpoint, there is no reason why Pakistan and India cannot do the same. This is a rare statement from Shabazz Sharif on India, contrary to his elder brother Nawaz Sharif, who is one of the major reasons behind his ouster was his effort to normalize ties with New Delhi. Shabazz, who is a prime ministerial candidate from his party, also asked India to leave behind the past tensions between arch rivals and starts afresh. Meanwhile, the United States 
The United Nations has said that China has played an important and positive role in the situation of Korean Peninsula. The UN chief also hailed the historic summit between the leaders of the United States and North Korea as an important milestone. Now, before we wind up, a quick reminder of the headlines once again. Vast areas have been inundated due to bridge of uh, riverbank. Government declares holiday for the day in the wake of severe floods looming large. Manipur government opens 19 relief camps in Imphal West District and two in Imphal East District for flood affected people. Road caves in at two different places on Jibam Imphal Road. More than 400 loaded trucks stranded. And given an opportunity, women of Manipur can excel in any field, says Governor Dr. Najma Hatullah. And that's all we have in this session of news. Thank you very much for watching our Stephen Miss News. Bye now.